The Celtics of England walked the ley lines, the Native Americans went on vision quests, and the Aboriginal Bushmen went on walkabouts. Let's walk into some practical ways to boost your creative juices by walking our way to creativity. This is episode 19. Welcome to the Design a Business You Love podcast, where we explore work anywhere strategies for artists, authors, and entrepreneurs. Here's your host, Kimberly Design Love. We've been talking about Jimmy Buffett in the last few episodes, and I had some feedback that they really enjoyed those podcast episodes and that they had their own lessons that they wanted to share with me about Jimmy Buffett. I set up something very cool. Let me read you the link. So I want to share a link with you of where you can record a lesson that you learned from Jimmy Buffett. This could be a lesson about life, a lesson about business, or it could be a lesson from this podcast. That'd be cool. The link is speakpipe, S-P-E-A-K-P-I-P-E dot com forward slash Kimberly Design Love. You can go there and leave me a voice message up to five minutes long, and I will listen to these and add them to the podcast. Let me share something fun I found for you in the book Tales from Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett. The Aboriginal people of Australia believe the earth was sung into creation and is held together by song lines or dream times, and every so often in a person's life, he will get the calling to go walk about. I'm not in the frame of mind these days to do so, as I still have too much attachment to the toys that tie me to modern life. Still, the old saying in South Florida of a decade ago, he who dies with the most toys wins, becomes less of a credo. Besides, if I just did like the Bushman and walked out of my Patagonia shorts, T-shirt, and flip-flops, leaving them in a pile on Highway A1A and started walking naked up US-1, I would be on the 6 o'clock news in every city in America by the time I made it to the Seven Mile Bridge. Being your own boss and having a phony baloney job like I do affords me the great excuse of saying, I have to be alone and free from distractions in order to create. It's basically a line of BS, but I do find exotic places tend to cultivate more exotic tales. Anyway, I recently said goodbye to Key West and packed my three bags for anywhere in the world. I had everything I needed music, fishing gear, cotton clothing, and good books. That was just a a little thing from Margaritaville. And Jimmy talks about being his own boss and needing time to create and time to take walks. And so as artists and writers and creators, we all need this time to be creative. We need walkabouts to sing our own dream lines. So I was reminded of this a couple weeks ago when I attended a writing retreat and got to hear the great Julia Cameron speak on her basic tools for creatives. If you're not aware of who Julia Cameron is, she is the author of The Artist Way and many other brilliant books like The Vein of Gold. One of the gals at the writing retreat called her Mama Cameron, which I thought was adorable. She talked about her basic tools, and here they are in a nutshell. Journaling, which she calls morning pages. Artist dates, which is time alone to do something enchanting once a week. And last but not least, walking. She encouraged us to walk daily and one day a week for at least one hour. This has inspired me to create something unique, something special. The working title of it right now is Walking into Prosperity. Did you know that some of history's greatest artists and writers found inspiration in the simple act of walking? We will explore the footsteps of luminaries like Leonardo da Vinci, Picasso, Virginia Woolf, Henry David Thoreau, and Charles Dickens, and we'll discover how walking invigorated their creativity. So be on the lookout for this. I'm very excited about it.
Now let's get into some practical ways to boost your creative juices by walking our way to creativity. We all know that creativity is a powerful force that drives our innovation and sparks our imagination. But sometimes it can be elusive, hiding just out of reach when we need it most. Today, we're exploring one simple yet highly effective technique, walking. Step one, the art of walking. You might be wondering, how can a simple walk enhance creativity? Walking has a magical way of clearing the mind, allowing fresh ideas to flow. The rhythmic motion and change of scenery can stimulate your senses, leading to new perspectives and solutions. Step two, I want you to embrace the outdoor canvas. Nature is a powerful source of inspiration. When you walk outdoors, you're surrounded by colors, shapes, and textures that can ignite your imagination. Take in the sights, listen to the sounds, and feel the breeze. It's like a living canvas that invites you to create. Step three, movement fuels creativity. Movement has a profound impact on the brain. As you walk, your body releases endorphins, which can boost your mood and enhance cognitive function. This surge of positivity can provide the perfect environment for creative thinking. Step four, capture your insights. Don't forget to bring a notebook or a sketchbook or a voice recorder with you. Some of your best ideas will emerge during your walk. Jot down these insights, sketches, or phrases that pop into your mind. They could be the seeds to your next masterpiece. So there you have it, my fellow creatives. Take a stroll. A simple stroll can be a powerful tool in your creative arsenal. Incorporate walking into your routine and let it unlock a new dimension of imagination. Join me next time as we discuss how to design your business around your busy lifestyle. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of the Design a Business You Love podcast. If you enjoyed listening, please click the subscribe or follow button on your favorite podcast player. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep creating, and keep designing a business that you love.